And I might say, well, if your work isn't meaningful, then make it meaningful. Um, the Dalai Lama has a great book on uh, something called uh, like happiness at work. And it presents his perspective on how really um, lots of great stories in there. I'll tell you one about someone doing, quote, not meaningful work, but making it meaningful. Uh, Howard Cutler, who wrote, who co-authored that book uh, with the Dalai Lama, it's called The Art of Happiness at Work, actually. He tells a story about his first job as an adolescent in a con uh, concentrated orange juice um, canning factory. Has anybody read that book? OK, I recommend it. Uh, his job involved standing at the end of a conveyor belt and removing cans and packing them into boxes. So it was all this repetitive movement all day long. Uh, one of the first things that his coworker, so he had an assigned coworker, and one of the first things that that assigned coworker said to him, this job sucks. <laughs> and this man clearly detested his job and showed it all day, manifested it. He moved as slowly as possible, uh, forcing Howard to do even more than his share of the work. On the second day on the job, there was a shift turnover, and his coworker was replaced by Carl. Carl was an older man of remarkable energy and enthusiasm. He seemed to enjoy his work and interacting with his coworkers. He took pleasure in thinking about all the places where the juice was going and would roar out things like, careful with that box there, boy, that Ojo is going to her majesty royal yacht to be mixed with vodka and served up in highball glasses to board diplomats. And of course, everybody would laugh and, you know. And just this man in the same boring job created his attitude toward his work and uh, toward his life, gave his job meaning. And uh, he created a better working environment for, for everyone around him. The Dalai Lama believes that no matter what your work is, there's always a way to find purpose in one's work. And I would add that this sense of purpose crum comes from the search for meaning in our lives. There's evidence uh, that the search for meaning is present in every single culture. Libraries are filled with writings on this topic of the human search for meaning from the beginning of recorded history. It is part of the human experience to ask, why am I here? What should I do with my life? How do I order my priorities? Where can I find guidance about the good life or the life lived well? We are most likely to ask these questions when faced with sickness or the, th the, the threat of dying or when we face a major loss in our lives, during times when we experience major disruption or changes also in our lives and when the future seems uncertain. Did you ever ask yourself these questions uh, as an adolescent or during your midlife, if you've gotten there? I have, many times. I have asked myself those questions many times in my life, including when I was a young child, when I was an adolescent, during major transitions. And it just seems like the older I get, the more frequently I ask them. But these questions of meaning are often described as spiritual. They transcend culture. They transcend religion. They transcend ethnicity. They are universal. By spirituality, I do not necessarily refer to religion, although some may find meaning and a sense of spirituality from religion. But more generally, relig uh, spirituality really refers to the personal quest for meaning and purpose in life. And it relates to the inner essence of the self, to our harmonious inner connectedness with the self, to others, our connection to others also, and our connection to nature. And for some, the connection to the ultimate other, or God, or a higher power. Viktor Frankl, a survival of the Nazi concentration camps and a psychiatrist, notes that sometimes external circumstances in our life situations are beyond our control, and for some people, that's very often that circumstances are outside their control. Yet he maintains that the attitude we choose to have toward life is within our control and that the spiritual journey relates to our inner struggle. To